Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going back into Standard again, and we're looking at a Meganium deck. And there's been a lot of new Meganium decks that we have seen pop up recently. There's one that was just at the Regionals past weekend, and uh, that was like a Meganium deck. They used like Kingdra, GX, and Porygon Z. But the Meganium deck that I have built today, and I've had this built for a couple of, well, really since the Meganium Greninja deck went viral, was Tyranitar with... Swampert and Solgaleo. So the idea with this deck is is you have Tyranitar as one of your main attackers and you use Solgaleo to build it up but you also use it to get rid of your fighting weakness. Obviously Tyranitar is weak to fighting which is a big drawback to using Tyranitar and that's how we're gonna do it. But yes we have Tyranitar GX, we have Meganium, we have Solgaleo GX, and we have Swampert and Alola Ninetales. So there is a lot going on in here. Um, and this is another Meganium type of deck. So let's look at Meganium again real quick. Quick Ripening Herb. Once your turn, before you attack, you may use this ability. Choose one of your base Pokemon and play. If you have stage 2 of that Pokemon in your hand, that evolves from that Pokemon. Then you play it onto it. And you can use this ability the turn you play that Pokemon down. So this ability is really good. Once you get a Meganium in play, you basically can chain together a bunch of GXs throughout the match. It's pretty simple to, stay, to chain the stage 2 Pokemon. And that's the idea here. And again, the original list was like a Swampert Greninja build, and yeah, our list is going to be a bit different. We are going to be also focusing on Tyranitar as our main attacker. So Tyranitar GX is not that good. It's seen like barely any play at all, but it does have some cool things going for it. First of all, you have Dusty Ruckus, which does 130 damage for 3 energies, and then does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bent Pokemon, which is not that bad at all. Um, putting extra damage on the board is always good. Um, 130 isn't terrible. If you put the Choice Bane on, you do 160. So if you do 160 to a Pokemon that's already taken the damage from the Dusty Ruckus's uh, Bench Snipe, then uh, you can knock something out. Uh, then you have Lane Smackdown, which does 220 damage, which is nice because you just clean the board. You can knock out almost anything except for like stuff like Gardevoir and uh, Sokaleos and Decidueyes. But you want to shot a lot of other stuff like Lycanrox, Zoark GX, and all that stuff. And the nice part about Tyranitar is when you knock something out, um, that Pokemon and all cards attached to it go into the Lost Zone. So all their energies, their tools, um, everything goes in the Lost Zone, which is really powerful. This is great against decks that rely on having energy, either the discard pile for acceleration, like something like Malamar or Metagross. Um, it's also really good because then they can't get Rescue Stretcher, so there's no way to get the Pokemon back. So this could be really nice against any deck that relies on stretcher so it's really good attack a really good ability to have obviously if you play against lost march you kind of just feed them um but other than that tyranitar just destroys everything and the best way to play it i think is with just like a meganium obviously we're gonna use meganium get a bunch of stage twos and play um we're using sogaleo tyranitar does need three energies to get built up sogaleo does have turbo strike which is 120 damage and then you attach two base energies from your discard pile Match Pokemon. We can use Turbo Strike as a way to build up our Tyranitar GX. We can also prominence it since we have a lot of tanky Sage 2s. Tyranitar and Sogaleo both have 250 HP. We also can use Prominent uh, Turbo Strike and Shiny Mane. Sorry, is what I meant to say. I'm an idiot. But yeah, we can use Shiny Mane, of course, to get rid of Tyranitar's fighting weakness. So we don't have to worry about Buzzwolves, which is good. Um, and then we have Swampert in here, just here for Power Draw. Really good ability to have to draw. And we also have Hydro Pump, which can be really useful with Super Boost Energy against stuff like Blacephalon. Um, so Swampert's a really good player in here. And of course, we are playing the 2-2 two -two Ninetales line. One of the easiest ways to get your Stage 2s in play is with the Lola Ninetales GX, with Mysterious Guidance, getting you your rare candies and stuff like that. Um, that's basically it. Um, there was one other Stage 2 that I was playing in here originally, which was Gengar. I did play a 1-1 Gengar line. Gengar is pretty interesting. It does have 9 Curse whenever your opponent attaches an Energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon. Who two damage counters on that Pokemon? So it's a really useful ability. Um, I was considering running like a 1 1 Gengar line in here because that could be really useful to help with numbers. And there are decks that do kind of fall victim to 9 curse taking a lot of damage, but I originally just scrapped it. But it is a nice stage 2 to consider. It does also have a free retreat cost. Um, and again, there was a, a another Meganium deck that I saw play this weekend using Porygon Z, uh, which is interesting. Uh, Kingdra GX was also used, but this deck didn't use Kingdra. Um, you can also try and run more stage 2 dark types. There's not that many good ones, so there's Tyranitar GX, there's Hydreigon, but Hydreigon is not that great. Um, Tyranitar with Trample would be an interesting addition if you can run super boost energy. I wouldn't hate the idea of playing this card, but 
you would have to damage your own bench, so I don't really know. Um, and yeah, the only other stage 2 dark type is literally Crocodile. So yeah, not that many other stage 2 dark types. So now we go into the items, we got 4 nest balls just to guarantee, just keep getting basics on the bench. We really need to do that. One pal pad to get our supporters back. I really like pal pad in this deck. We got three copies of Rare Candy to be able to just Rare Candy into our Pokemon. We got one copy of Rusty Stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. One copy of Switch, because we do play a lot of Pokemon with bigger retreats, like Meganium's two retreat costs, Sogaleo two retreat costs, Tarantar, of course, has a three retreat cost. Even Ninetales and Swampert both have two or three two retreat costs, respectively. Three Timer Balls just to guarantee to get our Pokemon. Uh, three Ultra Balls to be able to search. We got one Brooklyn Hill to be able to just put down a Mudkip or a Vulpix. Two Ace Rollas. I really like Ace Roll in this deck because you can actually use Ace Roll on like a Sogaleo and then just re put it back down with Quick Ripening Herb because you can play the Pokemon back down the turn you played it. So you can do some really cool things with Ace Rolla. I am playing one Apricorn Maker in here um, just because we're able to get Timer Balls and not Neth Balls and stuff like that. So it's a really good addition to this deck because we do rely on ball search of cards. Uh, three Cynthia's, two Lilies. Two Guzmas. I am playing one Gladian, of course, if we do price up super boost energy. It is important to get super boost energy. It's really good to get a super boost energy early on and get a nice quick lay the smackdown off or get some hydro pumps going. That's why I'm playing the Gladian in here. I am playing one choice band. Something I do want to play two of is uh, choice band. I am playing one super boost energy, three DCEs, three dark energies, and a fairy energy just here for the Alolan Ninetales GX. In case we ever need it against Rayquaza or ever want to do sublimation. Um, or just want to do Snowy Wind. Snowy Wind does combo pretty well with Dusty Ruckus, so it's a nice little combo we can do there. So that is basically it for the energy in the, the list. This is a very fun deck to play. This Meganium idea is probably going to stretch further once we get even more Stage 2s, but this is the uh, first Meganium list that I have come up with. So let's go try down PC Joe, see the deck in action, and uh, see if we can get some good matches with our Meganium Tyranitar deck. Alright guys, let's go do some matches with our deck. I do want to do a Legacy video again. I've been thinking a bit about Legacy. I was playing a little bit of it last night just to try to get back into Legacy because it is a format that is drastically different from both Standard and Expanded. I ended up playing against three prominent players, which is kind of funny. I ended up playing against a huge Twitch streamer. Some of you may know him. I ran into Purple Cliff. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see the game on his stream I checked afterwards. Um, I ran into one of the richest players on the game, Matthew69, and then I also ran into... Another person that I'm pretty sure I've seen on YouTube before, like the name was really familiar, so it was really interesting. So yeah, I might do some, I might do a legacy video again. I don't know what deck to make. I do have a lot of legacy decks though to look at. So maybe, you know, if there's ever like a kind of this like really dry period, you know, I might do legacy. All right, so weakness policy and rare candy. This might be a Zoark deck considering he's got a Zoark coin, but I don't know what stage two he'd be playing. Ooh. That was a really good top deck. Got another Chikorita. We did top deck Apricorn Maker, which we'll play. I think we just go double Nest Ball. Just try and get as many Pokemon down as we can. I could have gotten Timer Ball, I guess, too, but it's not going to matter. We'll get Mudkip. We will get... I might get another Vulpix. I'm not going to lie. Hey, I'm going to get another Vulpix. I'm going to play it safe. We need to get a Larvitar too. So we're gonna get Larvitar. But that was nice. Triple Nest Ball turn one. Yeah, I feel like just doubling down on the Vulpix is better. I could have Ultra Ball too, I guess. Got rid of Sogaleo and Gladian and then Stretcher down the road, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. My opponent is not playing any um not playing any Elms, yeah, Elm. Oh, oh, Professor Elms Lecture, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Eevee, okay, looks like he's playing Glaceon, which is interesting. I don't, he's played Rare Candy, though. There's nothing he's played so far to say much, so I don't know. I think I will get rid of Gladian and Sogaleo. I guess, actually, we can get rid of Lily. And, um, get Cosmog. We'll play it safe this turn. I could have obviously got Nine Tails. I could have done some things there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll play Cynthia. We'll hold off on the stretcher, which for now we don't need to play it. Let's see what we get. Okay, we did not find any rare candy combos, which is what I was hoping for. So we'll have to do Beacon for Nine Tails and probably just Swampert. 
Or maybe Tapu Lele in case he knocks me out. I am also kind of scared he has a Guzma in his hand to knock out Chikorita so I can't get Meganium down, which is gonna be a little scary. So I might just go... I'm assuming we're gonna get knocked out here, but there is an off chance we might not get knocked out. Maybe I should have played Palpad, because yeah, there is a chance I might not get killed, but I can also get Sobaleo down with the stretcher. So I'm actually just gonna play it safe. We're gonna grab Lele in case he does kill my Vulpix. I could have grabbed Swampert, but it's fine. It doesn't even matter what I grab too. He, he obviously can control my board. He can be if he has a Guzma play, he can easily knock out whatever I try and build up. I really hope he doesn't Guzma me this turn. Oh, he's playing Decidueye with Leafeon. Never mind. I thought this was gonna be a Glaceon deck. Okay, this matchup ain't like awful. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about it. We do have a Swampert, which is weak to grass, so we really want to get Sogaleo down, I guess. So gonna stretchers. He's gonna do the shuffle effect. And he's gonna judge me. Ooh, that's even that's probably even worse than him doing Guzma. Hopefully we get a good hand here. Let's see. Yeah, we, okay, we got we got Lily. We did get timer ball, so we're guaranteed nine tails, and maybe nine tails will also guarantee us the um, if I get double heads on timer ball, that'd be awesome. So I get nine tails, I get Paganium. Oh, would you a DCE? Okay. I guess we'll attach it to Larvitar just to keep building that thing up. We'll double timer ball. Or double timer ball. Hopefully get double heads. We didn't. We can get nine tails though. Though I actually could hold off on the nine tails. What doesn't really matter? Nah, yeah, we'll grab nine tails. We'll do Lily. Okay, we got Meganium. That's all we wanted. I think I will evolve the bench. And then just do another beacon. So we'll just go, probably, well, hold on, do we need to do double rare candy? Um, so we're just going to get Swampert down this turn, so yeah, I think we'll just go. It doesn't really matter what I get, actually, to be fair. Because we're going to get Meganium down, we're going to use Meganium's ability to get Swampert down. Yeah, I guess we'll do that, alright, we'll do, I'll grab Palpad then, and just get some of my supporters back. Get back Cynthia and Lily. You can also get a uh, Apricorn Maker because Apricorn Maker gives you almost like basically can almost guarantee you the timer ball, which is good. So we'll get Meganium down. Well, Meganium for Swampert. Don't know what to trade away though. That's the only issue. I guess I can get rid of the Cosmog. So we can, we still haven't played our Stretcher. We are gonna eventually get that back. See what we get. Alright, we got Timer Ball for next turn. And we'll just do Beacon for Tyranitar and Lele. Good to know. We actually did Prize Brothers Soul Leo. Okay, that's fine. But I think we're in a pretty decent spot. I still do predict a Guzma play for my opponent next turn. He hasn't played one yet. We'll see. He's gonna Apricorn Maker? Never mind. We're safe. Good thing my opponent is getting a bit of a slow start. Of a deck like this, you don't really get slow starts with. Hopefully next turn, though, we are able to find one of our dark energies so we can start doing some dusty ruckuses. I think I'll save Lay the Smackdown if I want to one-shot a Decidueye or if I want to use it on Leafeon or Zoar. I don't really know what's best. But I think we will take a dusty ruckus knockout, probably on the Eevee. Of course, you're playing Enhanced Hammer in your deck. That probably doesn't need it. Yeah, great. Could have been on Super Boost Energy, I guess, but that is just equally as annoying. But it looks like Slugma's gonna be chilling the active for a bit. He hasn't found him a cargo yet, which is pretty good. Though that is very oh, never mind, he's actually got the switch. Wow. Okay, um I guess we're just gonna attack with Sogaleo this turn. Because we do have we can just do Gladian for the Sogaleo that's prized, I guess. Sure. Ooh, Ace Roll. I actually kind of like that draw. Now I want to get back my uh, thing. Alright, we're going to power draw away Swampert. Okay, never mind. We don't have to do Gladian. Actually, no. I think it's fine because we can do double Cosmog and then, assuming this guy isn't playing two enhanced hammers and doesn't hit one, we could Ace Roll a, our Sogaleo, which I kind of like the idea of that. I do want to get energy in the discard pile, though, but 
I do like the idea of that actually. So let's stretch her for the Cosmog. Gladian for the other Sogaleo. I like that a lot. I do want to get Tyranitar down too, but we weren't able to fight a rare candy yet. But I do like this. As much as I want to get T-Tar down, this is also pretty good. Especially because we just have any Swole play. And we will Turbo Strike him. No energy in the discard for now. Hopefully we can drop deck one or something. Or, I don't know. But I think we're in a good spot. Still, no uh, the city wise I gotta hope he doesn't enhance Hammer Me again, though. We only play three DCs as opposed to four. Okay, he will get a Decidueye down, which is kind of scary. If he tries to pick off Larvitar. But we are going to be able to Ace Roll our Sobele out this turn, which is going to be big. He's going to trade off another Dartrix. I think he's given up on the Leafeon at this point. Or not. Well, I guess he can still attack with it, but he's not going to go for Grand Bloom anymore. Which is fine. Meganium with Decidueye would actually be a pretty good combo, too. Meganium, Decidueye, uh, Alola Ninetales. That's another fun idea. Okay, well, the Ace Roll is, at the very least, he's not going to be able to attack me this turn. Which is fine, I guess. The only annoying thing is that stupid Breath of the Leaves ability is really frustrating. I am tempted to retreat and just maybe... Oh, I can't knock anything out. I might just retreat, though. Can trade off weakness policy. Any enhanced hammers that do not need to happen. Okay, so... That Breath of Lee's ability is really bad, because it hurts the damage that Poopy do. And we're not able to two-shot him. We're gonna do 120, yeah. He's gonna literally have 10 HP. We'd have to find Choice Man if we want to knock this Leafeon out. I am tempted to really just Guzma here. And then hope he doesn't do another Ace Rolla. That really disrupted me. I was hoping he would hit me, and then I can Ace Rolla my Sogaleo, go back into a Sogaleo. But that is not going to happen. I don't know if I want to do this or not, though, because we could just get the energy back, which is fine. We can always get the energy back, and then reattach the Larvitar. Tar. And I might do that. I am tempted to do Guzma here. So I'm assuming my opponent is going to not do Grand Bloom, okay. Right, we will power draw. I think we can get rid of timer ball at this point. We still have, like, yeah, we're fine. Still no basic energies, though. My goodness. All right, we did hit the rare candy, though. Um, I think we will Guzma here. I could even bring out Decidueye. He's already played a switch. Yeah, I think if we bring, if we bring out Decidueye, we can put pressure on it. Or I can bring out Zoar, assuming he's gonna hit me with Ride Speed and then do like that shuffle ace roll play I was gonna do. Zorg is the main attacker, but if I hit Decidueye, he can't really reliably ace roll it because that will get it off the board and then he can't really. I don't know how many rare candies he's playing. I can also just knock out Zoro or Slugma. I think I. I mean, the problem with bringing Decidueye is he can actually do Hollow Hunt, which might be worse. So yeah, maybe I just bring up Zoar and just try and attack it. I mean, I just gotta hope he isn't playing any, um... He actually didn't do Feather last year, my boy forgot. So I think we're safe to just... Whatever. Yeah, I think we will just attack him, though. Just hope he doesn't do Ace Rolla. I don't know how many he's playing, but I'm not assu I'm assuming he's only playing one. So we'll just do this. Hit him for 120. Put the other dart. Oh, he scoops! The Tyranitar Sogaleo deck is too good. He scooped. I want to look at this list, actually. How many enhanced hammers did he play? Only one. Okay, well, I guess... No, he played two. Well, it's a good thing that didn't come in play. And he... Wait, three ace rollers! Are you mad? Holy, that's a lot of ace roller to play. Okay, well, when I was saying he only played one, this man played three. That's insane. So I'll catch you guys in another minute with another match. Hopefully we get some Tyrantor action this time around. All right, let's go do some more games here with the deck. See what we can play against this time. All right, so... Okay, right off the bat, this looks to be a potential Malamar deck. Dragon Water Psychic. So, we'll see. Don't. It's an interesting combo of types. So, we'll see if we win the coin flip. We do. It's pretty lit. See if we get a good hand here. Last game, we were able to get a lot of Nest Balls off. So, hopefully, we can 
do the same this time. Okay, not the worst hand, but actually, no, it's like a pretty bad hand. I don't know what to start with, I guess. We'll have to start with probably Larvitar. We do have Nine Tails next turn to bail us out. I don't want to retreat though, so we're going to be kind of stuck in the active. Just got to hope we survive a turn or two. Okay, so he looks like he's playing Quagsire and again, So we actually drew a Lele, which is good. We'll uh, grab Vulpix here. See, we prize. We do have all our Chikoritas. We prize a Cosmog. We got every other Pokemon in the deck, though, so that's interesting. How many candies? Uh, we did prize a rare candy. Okay. Interesting. We did prize a DCE and a Dark Energy. Okay, good to know. Um, Part of me kind of wants to hold the hand. Part of me doesn't. Like, Hmm. I think, uh, I guess we'll have to do Lily this turn. Yeah, I think we Lily. Um, don't really know where to put this. I guess we'll play it on Vulpix. I don't want to attach to Larvitar and then just lose it. I guess Vulpix is the best Pokemon to put it on because we're probably going to evolve it into a Lola Ninetales next turn. So we'll do that. We'll uh, Lily. That Lele was actually a pretty good top deck, kind of bailed us out. Alright, well Lily for a couple cards. See what we get. We do find a Dark Energy. We do get another Larvitar, which is good, so we can attach to the bench Larvitar and pass. Next turn we can drop a Lola Ninetales GX, grab a Rare Candy, pray that this gets ahead, and then we can get Meganium. I can grab Rare Candy and another Timer Ball, and then get Tyranitar into place. That's pretty good. Yeah, but it looks like we're up against a Quagsire and a Ganadel deck. It's going to be an interesting matchup. I don't know if it's good or bad. I would probably say it's okay. I will do want to get Sogaleo GX down, though. All right, he's going to grab Suicune. Okay. Hmm. If we can maybe get a Rare Candy top deck, assuming I get Double Hedge, I might be able to pop off with a Super Boost Energy T-Tar play out of nowhere. I might be able to pull that off. We just have to hope we get a better top deck. Like, if we can get Rare Candy off the top deck... Maybe even just get like a Meganium or a Tyrantar. It is possible to technically pull off a Tyrantar. And we can attach the super boost energy on it. And we can get like a really insane turn. We do not. Okay, never mind. I tried. Alright, well, Brooklyn Hill for probably Mudkip. Uh, we will. I might play this now. This could actually dictate how what I grab with Nine Tails. So let's see. Double heads? Oh, if I got double heads, I would have been bailed out. If I got double heads, it wouldn't be able to. But if I was able to get a bunch of stuff here, I would have been okay. But we can do the Nine Tails. We'll do a Vulture Ball, so we can grab Rare Candy for Meganium. And we can grab double Rare Candy, actually, I guess. But I don't think we're going to be able to get that many Sage 2s in play, but I might as well go double Rare Candy. We can play the Ultra Ball while we're at it. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. If we were able to get double heads on Timer Ball, we would have been able to pop off this turn. But it ain't the case. I guess I didn't need to grab her candy. It's fine. We'll get rid of Ninetales and Ace Rolla. We'll grab Tyranitar. I can rare candy the active. To be fair, the odds of get KO'd aren't very high. I mean, I guess. But he's not playing Enhanced Hammer. There's no way. that He doesn't have room for it. Hmm. You know, we could get lucky. If we can maybe hit Tyrantar here, we could pop off. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Alright, well, Ultra Ball away, Nest Ball, and Ultra Ball. Okay, you know, we were able to pull off the Triple T Tar turn one. I was not expecting that. I think I will just do Dusty Ruckus. I don't really want to lay the smack down. I might save that to take a big KO here. Um, but we will do... I mean, he has Trap Me active, too, so yeah, we'll just Dusty Ruckus him, but then we can Ace Rolla. But yeah, that was, okay, you know what, I take back everything I said about that last turn we just had. I was definitely able to pull off the Triple Tyranitar, or the Triple Stage 2. But yeah, this is amazing, we're in a really good spot now. The only thing left I need to do is probably maybe just build up Ninetales. If I find a Fairy Energy, I'll probably attach it, but we can keep building you up, we have Ace Rolla. If he's playing Enhanced Hammer, I'm going to cry. But I doubt he is. I doubt he's playing Enhanced Hammer. 
So we can probably just tank with T-Tar. We have 250 HP, so we're very bulky. My question is, will he be able to attack me with Prism Star Volt this turn? I'm pretty sure there's no energy in the discard pile. He can attach for turn. He can Quagsire the energy from Suicune. And if he hits like a Nagandel or Aqua Patch, he might be able to attack me here. Which could be very big, because he could technically potentially set up a KO with Suicune, which would be pretty bad. It's going to get rid of a Sightseer. That's not an energy. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, he goes in the loss zone, but it doesn't matter. He's going to Jet Guys from me. I'm perfectly fine with that. I could probably just bring out something Cannon Fodder that we don't really need. Probably just Meganium. Meganium or the Ninetale? I guess Lele, actually. No, but we have DC. I guess Meganium is the only logical Pokemon that's like, I don't really care if it takes damage. It's going to Sightseer. I'll just get rid of one card. Yep. Palkia. That's fine. Probably wouldn't play that anyways because Ninetales. But that is why I technically was like, okay, Ninetales could be good here. Uh, we do have Sublimation for these uh, Naganadels too, which is something to consider. I wouldn't mind getting Guzma this turn, actually, because we could KO the Suicune, and because of the effects of Lost Out, he cannot get back the energy. And that's huge. The fact that he can't use Naganadel is big, so Tyrantar is really good in this matchup, because it prevents him from even doing Naganadel at all. And without Aqua Patch and Naganadel, he can't really efficiently use Wash Out. So, Titar is very big here. I really hope we top that Guzma. Even like a Swampert to give us Guzma would be good, or a Timer Ball. Alright, looks like he's going for the Sauna Blast, which is fine too. If he's devoting all the energy here, we actually lost out and shove all the energy in the Lost Zone anyway, so this is perfectly fine. It's a good thing we have Switch in our hand. Unless out of nowhere this guy drops a Mars Shadow, I might be worried, but we should be safe in the active spot. And I'm glad T-Tar's not taking much damage here. I don't think he has any good way to efficiently deal with me. So I think T-Tar is pretty much tanking. And we have the Ace Rolla, so if T-Tar takes damage, we can just Ace Rolla back out. He's gonna rebroke it hill for Suicune. That was an interesting play. I'm surprised he didn't maybe grab like an extra like Whooper or something. Or maybe like a Lapras. Lapras can hit big numbers, which is relevant if he wants to do that. But he's gonna Sauna Blast me, which is fine. We're not getting knocked out, and we're gonna shove all the energy in the Lost Zone, which means he cannot get the energy back, and that's huge. That is huge. He can't get the energy back. Sadly, we aren't taking three prizes here, but now that he can't get the energy back, he is in trouble because he can't use Naganadel, so this is big. We're gonna take our prize, another Mudkip. Hopefully, we get a Supporter here or a Swampert or something because we could be in trouble. If he knocks out Meganium next turn, we will lose the Super Boost energy. So maybe I shouldn't have went for Meganium, I guess, whatever. I was thinking of Ace Rolling it, but that Ace Roll on T-Tar is just going to be so big if we ever get that. But yeah, all those energy going Lost Zone. Volk was Lost Zone. But, whoops, I just dropped my phone. Or something. What did I drop? My phone? Yeah, I dropped my phone. Rip, sorry if you, that was very loud. Just going to get that out of here. Alright. It's going to Acro Bike. Let's see, if he's able to hit another thing here, I'll be surprised, but the fact we shoved three energies in the Lost Zone is huge. Oh, he actually hit a Water Energy too, rip. He's gonna Aqua Patch. Okay. Does he find Naganadel? I think he attached that energy for turn, because he didn't have that many energy in play before. He's gonna Lily. If he attacks me here, I will just do Ace Rolla. As long as he doesn't take a prize, but I'm pretty sure we're safe, because he did a Lily, unless this guy's playing Pokemon Catcher. We can kind of see why Tyranitar is so fun. It's an interesting card. I don't think T-Tar is a bad card. I do think it's playable. He just can't do anything. And we drew a DCE, we should attach that here. And we might as well just do... I guess we'll lay the smack down. We could actually, no, let's just do Ruckus, because we knock out a bunch of Pokemon and we still can Ace roll the next turn. So I'm fine with just doing this. Yeah, we're getting two prizes. It's actually good to wipe out Naganadel. That is one of the ways it's possible for him to keep up the energy acceleration when we're shoving so much in the Lost Zone. We got a Sogaleo, we got a Dark Energy, so we can actually Ace Roll it and not have to play like a bunch of energy on T-Tar now because of the DC Super Boost Energy. So, I don't really see how we're losing at this point. We're basically in cruise control. We wiped out both Naganadels, or Poipos. He can't get those back either. So yeah, we're golden. T-Tar is just brutal right now. 
we could win the game next turn if we drew a DC, also, or a, a Guzma, sorry. If we draw a Guzma, we technically win the game. He's gonna do Field Blower. He will get rid of my Choice Ban, which is fine. Choice Ban would have been nice so we could knock out that, get four prizes last turn. But it's perfectly fine, we're still destroying him. But yeah, this, this T-Tar combo is very scary. <laughs> choice Band, alright, he's gonna hit me hard. But then I'm gonna do a Strola, and that'll be that, folks. That will be that. But if we can just draw a Guzma, we'll just straight up win here. It's gonna Cynthia. Okay. Will he be able to find anything to help him? Will he be able to find anything? He's gonna find another Suicune. He's probably gonna want to go into that. Ooh, those Kyogre could be interesting. We're only gonna get... Well, we're still actually gonna win the game. Well, now technically if he does retreat, he heals. I mean, he could do that if he wants. I think he is going to. Or he could do... He could do Burnicles, actually, going to Kyogre. No, he's going for the retreat. Never mind. Well, no, even if he did Burnicles. Yeah, okay, I see what he... Yeah, he needed to do the shuffle then. That's fine. I still think it was better to remove those Poipoles off the board. So I think I think we're still in cruise control right now. All right, it's gonna get Suicune back. We can actually just lay the smack down here, which I probably will just do. Just delete him. And we just need to take a couple more prizes to win. So he's gonna wash out. All right. Only one energy though. Does he have any way to accelerate energy? No, doesn't look like it. So I don't know why he even moved the energy, the active then, because if I knock him out with lay the smack down, which I'm gonna do, I remove the energy off the board, which is one of the energy he has to work with. So. I think it would have been better for my opponent to just sacrifice Kyogre. Well, I mean, I guess then he walks into Lay the Smackdown. I guess I kind of see. Alright, so... We'll do that. And I might as well just Lay the Smackdown. T-Tar is just going to... Wah, lay the Smackdown, knock him out. We'll take our two prizes. I'm looking for Swampert. There's Guzma. So, we win next turn, basically. Because, yeah, he's going to try and bring out Suicune. Because he can't get one shot by Dusty Ruckus. But we'll have Guzma... And that'll wrap up that. But yeah, you can kind of see how good this Super Boost Energy Tyranitar combo is. Uh, we had a really good turn where we were able to get multiple Stage 2s in play, which is really lucky. So we had a pretty good turn. If we probably weren't able to do that, I don't think we'd be in such a good spot right now. But uh, because of that, we were just able to just Super Boost Energy and just just obliterate my opponent with Tyranitar. Like, we were just able to muck him. He's going to get rid of an experience here. Yeah, there is a lot of Meganium decks to look at. I definitely want to look at more. I kind of want to play uh, Dark Integral's Alolan Golem deck. That was a pretty cool deck idea that I saw. Alolan Golem with Magnezone and Meganium. I might try that out. That seems like a pretty fun deck. But uh, we will Guzma, bring out Quagsire, and we will win the game with a Lay the Smackdown. Or not, a Dusty Rocky, sorry. But you can kind of see what this deck kind of just destroys him. Decks like this where they want energy in the discard pile to accelerate energy, you know, Malamar... Quagsire, Metagross, all those decks, they will end up losing to Tyranitar's Lost Out Effect. And I finally was able to do a Tyranitar GX video. I've been meaning to do one for a while now. We're actually going to get this daily done, which is pretty lit. Um, I've been meaning to do a Tyranitar GX video for a while now. Um, finally, I got to it. Originally, I was going to do a Tyranitar Shining Celebi Larvitar deck. I didn't really like that, though, but I think we'll wrap this PC Joe video here. Might leave it a bit shorter. Um, but it's fine. We showed off what this deck aims to do. It's a pretty simple deck, and I cannot find it. There it is. <laughs> it was right. I had a favorite. It ripped me. But yeah, this is a fun archetype. If I were to make any changes, I might consider removing a, um, maybe try and find room for a second choice band. Because I think it is pretty good for Tyranitar to do 250. I mean, just having the one choice band, I think it's fine. But maybe running two choice bands is better. But because there's so much, like, spread in this deck with Dusty Ruckus and Snowy Wind... Maybe it doesn't really matter to play that many more choice bands. I don't really know. You can play this deck how you want. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a Tyranitar Meganium deck. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to help me road to 4,000 subscribers if you have not subbed already. I know I re-uploaded the Zero Aura video yesterday, by the way. I just want to address this. Um, I had some people asking me. I did re-upload the Zero Aura video. I deleted it. I had it uploaded on Saturday. But YouTube was broken that day. I literally had like one comment. No one commented on the video because I even asked you guys in the beginning of the video if you had any t any tag team ideas. Um, no one commented. The video was getting super low views, which is not normal. Um, so I just deleted the video. YouTube was clearly broken that day. Um, it's pretty obvious. So I just re-uploaded it. And then look at that. The video got a lot of comments. 
and the views were up. So yeah, definitely on YouTube's end. It's really annoying when that stuff happens, but that is why I deleted and re-uploaded the Zero Aura video. But that'll run this PCO video. We're gonna leave it at two games. We did just show off how insane this kind of a deck can be when you just get a huge T-Tar in play. The fact we were threatening the Ace Roller was also pretty good. I'm gonna stop blabbing. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Hi